morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are, whatever you are. I'm Shiraz. We're all Shiraz. Welcome to Duality 9X. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I've got a good lineup of some very creepy, strange, and very, very scary videos, guys. So I don't want to prolong this any further. I want to get right to it. I want to hear your guys' comments. I want to hear what you guys think because there's some stuff in here that I just can't explain. I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know what, I don't know when, but perhaps you guys might be a better judge. So please smash the like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. So we're running a promotion, uh, a really cool kind of promotion. So you guys know that I'm giving away these Duality 9X stickers, right? So for anybody who uh, likes, subscribes, and uh, puts a comment down and sends me an email with their contact information, they're gonna get a cool little Duality 9X sticker. And, and that's really kind of just uh, as a thank you for, for subscribing and liking our videos. And uh, it really kind of, you know, helps us grow our grassroots kind of community. But in addition to which, uh, as we start getting closer to the 100 subscriber mark, I've got this Amazon. It's all there. Uh, I've got this uh, little Amazon Echo Dot. So... Um, as soon as we hit 100 subscribers, I will be giving this away. And so if you want to win this, all you guys have to do is like and subscribe, comment, and send an email uh, with their contact information, and I'll be doing a random draw uh, as soon as we hit 100 subscribers. So that's kind of cool. The Amazon Echo Dot. And then as soon as we hit uh, 150 subscribers, I'm giving away this, this Google Nest Mini. Uh, these are pretty neat as well too. So uh, this is all sealed and wrapped. Unfortunately, this is not, um, I think the seal kind of slipped off this, but I mean, everything's intact in there. Uh, it still has the stickers on and everything like that. But this one is all sealed. And so I'll be giving this away um, once you hit 150 subscribers. So again, uh, smash the like, subscribe, uh, give us a comment, and send your information to my email, duality9x at gmail.com. And uh, I look forward to giving these uh, beauties away. And without further ado, I got my cup. I know you guys are ready. Strap your seatbelt in because it's about to get heavy. Let's go. You have to bring some kind of um, proof. The video you're watching is a VHS tape that originally started circulating around America in the mid-1990s. The tape is nearly half an hour long and stars the kid that you see on camera now. The tape was named Grave Robbing for Morons, which seems to be a fitting title, considering the content on the tape. The video is meant to teach you how to properly remove and handle corpses that are meant to be resold at a later date. At one point in the video, oh, he states wow. that it's important to find identifying features to bring with you to the sale insinuating that his clients are not looking for any dead bodies, but are instead requesting specific people who have passed away. According to police investigations, they believe the video is real and features actual human remains. Unfortunately, no one has been able to identify the man in the video. Thanks for watching, and stay safe. So I'll show you later, I'm in the real, um, um, coffin itself. See at the Holy smokes. Um... Well, I, I don't know if this is real. This is my first time hearing about this, but I guess this was filmed back in the 90s about a real-life grave robber. Um, and apparently he has videos that show how to, I guess, remove a corpse from the grave and to... Gustavo Alacaras, a boy from Mexico, was celebrating his 10th birthday with family at an amusement park in his hometown. This was a particularly special celebration for Gustavo, as this was to be his first ever ride on a roller coaster. For this special occasion, his eight family members all got on the ride together, with Gustavo's mother sitting up front to record her son's reaction. The video shows Gustavo and his family members enjoying the ride. However, on closer inspection, the video shows something which has left Gustavo and his family spooked.
Looks like a pretty cool ride. I, I can't do rides anymore. I can't do amusement parks anymore. It's a whole five or six laps. I get headaches and my neck starts to hurt. And oh. Oh, oh, oh. See how the music just kind of changed there a little bit? Right there, right there, there's somebody there. Right there, there's somebody there. Now, I'm making a big deal out of this, guys, because I didn't see anybody in the back compartment there. Like, so right there, there's somebody there. Or was there always somebody there? No, there's no... There's nobody there! There's nobody there, but there was Did you spot it? Wow. As the roller coaster loops the track there, for the right first there. time, we can see the back carriage is empty. However, after the second lap, some sort of translucent figure appears to now be sitting in the back seat. Gustavo's family wow. still question to this day just who or what this is and how on earth did it appear while the roller coaster was moving viewers speculate that it's likely a ghost caught on camera or perhaps even something more sinister like a demon who is following gustavo or a member of his family and apparently this particular amusement park has a pretty dark and scary history that only adds to the mystery of this clip Several years ago, on the exact same spot, two riders tragically lost their lives on another roller coaster. The roller coaster was closed and taken apart, with this newer and smaller one constructed in its place. So, what do you think is going on here? Is this mysterious figure who appeared mid ride the spirit of one of the two riders? Or perhaps something more sinister? Let me know down below. My question is did you notice the kid gustavo he kept looking back he kept looking back now why would he keep looking back now i well i don't know maybe he's in the ride he's enjoying and he's kind of looking over his shoulder maybe he's kind of taking a look to see how far he is from from the ground from where he's at because i mean if he noticed something peculiar uh or if he noticed that there was somebody that kept like appearing and disappearing uh in, in the other in the other uh, you know compartment then he would have mentioned something I'm, I'm i'm assuming but uh clearly he he must have not seen it that is pretty freaky guys and the fact that there was a, a major incident that happened at that park unfortunately where two people had tragically lost their lives that uh that could explain that could be a spirit or that could be some kind of a ghost coming back i don't know um real or fake that's a decision you need to make all right let's, uh, Cruise Mexico was playing their final gig as one of their members was about to move to another town at the time they didn't notice anything unusual about the event at all but later as the guys rewatched the video of their <laughs> the performance they noticed quiet. something that chills them to their core TV. For this one, there's probably no reason to ask, but did you see it? Lurking behind the TV right in the there. right corner, a ghastly looking like girl with what seems to be a pale and distorted face seems to be peeking out at the band. What's even weirder is that if we cut to different segments oh, of the video, the, is the strange pale oblivious. girl has disappeared. The guys in the band believe that this bizarre figure might be the ghost of a friend of theirs who took her own life years earlier, perhaps dropping in for one last goodbye at the band's final performance. Holy smokes. 
So none of the band members seem phased about this, or they they didn't see it. I'm, I'm I'm assuming they haven't seen it because they would have probably reacted the same way we're reacting. So was it their long time friend who took their life along, you know, and and happened to appear like the commentator said, or is that a prank? Is it? I mean, it looked really clear, and they were hiding behind this TV, right? So, why, why didn't it come out? I, who knows? I don't know. Uh, I, I'm, I'm on the fence on this one, guys. I don't know. I'd like to hear you guys. Oh, weird here. one. And he snuck into the book. There's this YouTuber, Dancer One, and he snuck into the Bohemian Grove. <gasps> It's really creepy. He went like crazy far with it. He went into some of the buildings and it had this creepy looking weird clown demon goblin. Oh, weird. There's like a iron bowl with two owls on each side of it in front of the giant owl statue. Scary. And then the pit where they light the fire and do the mock sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. The owl is also made out of like plaster or something. Really? The owl statue? Yeah, because he knocked on his hollow. Hmm. And you can go behind it and go up inside the owl. No way. Yeah, there's stairs. Yeah. But what was really creepy is a couple times throughout the video, you heard what sounded like humans doing owl noises. Oh, thanks. What a little adventurer. Yeah. There's this YouTuber, Dancer1, and he wow. snuck into the Bohemian. So, the Bohemian Club, um, it's a very elite club that it's only by invitation only. Right, so you got heads of state, you got some of the most powerful people in the world, celebrities, artists, athletes, people of all walks of life who attend this retreat. But again, it's invitation only. And uh, apparently it was founded in 1872 in San Francisco, a very secret club. Now there's a lot of there's a lot of stories, there's a lot of rumors, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of things said about this particular retreat and the invitees and the people that are, that attend the, the events that, that happen at the Bohemian Grove, at the Bohemian Club. So, a lot of it is shrouded in mystery and speculation and um, very interesting stuff. Amy Pendletown from Nashua, New Hampshire, USA, uploaded this creepy capture to TikTok after stumbling upon it while searching for directions to a local cemetery. Gilson Cemetery, reputed to be the most haunted cemetery in the United States, has a long history with the paranormal. Many people unfortunately lost their lives on the site from battles and fires over the years, and visitors to the cemetery have reported seeing orbs floating around and hearing voices of both adults and children when nobody else was around. When examining wow. Google Maps Street View on the way to the cemetery, Amy noticed something very, very creepy. Go on Street View, take a 360, and take a little stroll down the road. Just look. Oh. There's a ghost right there. Oh, oh, oh. There is. There's somebody hiding in the bushes. What looks like a figure, although blurry, can be seen standing by the roadside. But who is it? Amy yeah. straight up says that Wonder this that is, is a ghost, and TikTokers agree, given the reputation of the area in and around Gilson Cemetery. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera? Let me know. I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, that, that's pretty interesting. You know, all the interesting stuff that people find on Google Maps, you know, uh, uh, sometimes I just like going onto Google Earth and checking out places, places that we visited, places, you know, places that we want to see. And, you know, you just ha happen to find these random spots like in the middle of nowhere. And uh, sometimes it's really interesting, you know, when you get down to like Street View, the kind of things that you see, the people in the photos, <laughs> you know, it's just there's some comical ones. And then there's some stuff that's kind of like questionable and sometimes outright freaky. But um I think we could probably dedicate a whole segment to to the stuff that we find on Google Maps. So, if you guys have any interesting stories about that, questions began with this disturbing event. Watch. Um. So, I thought finding David 
Uh, we're back. I just got out of the shower. And I heard, well, it sounded like the door opening and closing, but. Oh my god. Somebody's fucking here. Stairs over there at the fucking door. Fuck. Somebody is. Sounds like footsteps or somebody's knocking. I'm surprised this guy's not getting a bat or some kind of a weapon. <laughs> Chasey's. You're my witness. Loud noises were heard at the door of his house. The noises revealed a situation that was becoming more and more intense each time. Each morning when he woke up, new manifestations were perceived by Nick. Inexplicable. The subject of intense debates in different social forums due to how intriguing it is. The image you see to a security camera installed inside an elevator. A camera that captures the moment in which this woman enters. The same person that only moments later would undergo a strange change in the face. What is happening here? See for yourself. Incredibly ended in front of the camera. In just 10 seconds, the woman seems to change her facial features until she adapts the features of a man. Can you tell? Although it could be the product of a defect in the camera, it is not enough to justify the very strange modification that can be seen in the image. There are some who believe that this is a and reptilian, others that it is the product of a failure in reality. Some also resort to the most obvious, that is, wow. it's just fake. However, it cannot be denied that the change occurs almost as if it were something natural. A somewhat yeah. difficult manipulation to carry out uh -huh. in this type of device. Therefore, the manifestation of a failure in reality cannot be ruled out. Okay, um, you notice that, that the person in the elevator was wearing the same clothes and they did not move. They were still and all of a sudden there was a transformation happening from a woman into a man, from a man into back into a woman. And you could see clearly with the hairline of the woman, it was kind of parted a little bit in the middle and then it started to get full and then the features of the face started to turn masculine and it became a man and then from and then it reversed from man back to woman and they were wearing the same clothes the one thing i would like to see the one thing i would like to see is kind of like a timestamp in the elevator on the camera uh to show the exact time like frame by frame so that we know it's not 
a fake or we know that it's not like a, a video that spanned over a period of time and they just kind of edited it to kind of piece it together to make it look like it was one video. So that, that's, I guess that's my question, but real or fake, again, that decision is for you guys to make. So that was a good one. Those guys are like walking, I think through some abandoned, probably an abandoned building. It's just really dark, you can't really make out. I mean, Camera footage is grainy, you know, they've got their flashlights. It's, it's hard to make out what we're seeing from guys, but. Yeah, it definitely looks like they're in some kind of an abandoned house or abandoned building of some sort. The images correspond to an urban exploration that I presented to you some time ago. An impressive footage that ended with the appearance of a disturbing presence that is somewhat transparent and rises in the background. It was in this clip that Aran Sasu, one of our subscribers, noticed something that the camera was barely able to capture. The presence of an entity that no one but the camera captured and that managed to be oh. only centimeters from them while they fled. Watch. Yeah. Wow. Did you notice? A face that does not belong to any of these young people was wow. what the device captured. A young woman who practically recorded it close up for just an instant. Who could it be? Could it be some other entity similar to the one previously recorded? So, that was pretty scary, guys. Uh, you know, it, 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 I had an, there was another video that, in one of my earlier videos, uh, and there's a guy, he, he was going through an old theater, right? In an, I'm not gonna say in an abandoned building, but it was an abandoned theater inside a building and there's, I guess, residences on the, on the top floors. But in the basement, there was nobody there and that's where the theater was. And apparently there's been a lot of people that were complaining or, or making reference to the fact that they've been hearing noises and even seeing people. So this guy goes, and he's a ghost hunter, right? And he's, he's oblivious to this stuff. I don't think he's really ever seen a real life ghost. I mean, I don't know, but he goes into the theater and there were things that were complete, that were happening all around him that were unexplainable. And the, he, although the, the footage was not the greatest, I mean, he had like an old camcorder, so it was an older video, but the authenticity, I mean, it looked quite authentic. So if you guys get a chance, it was, it's in one of my videos, um, I'll, I'll try to play it. Uh, I'll, I'll, sorry, I'll try to add the card on here so you guys can click on it and watch it, but it was really, really interesting. So this is similar. So these guys are, it seems like there was a bunch of people that were going through this abandoned uh, basement or building or house, I, I think it was a building, and they get into this one corridor, this one room, and it to me it looked like there was a woman who was like seated, and as soon as these people were coming closer, she started to rise up, like as if she was getting up from a chair, or in her seated position. And it's almost like she was facing the group and then maybe walking towards them. And as they started to run, as this group started to run, get up like from that place, 
you could see that there was an image of a woman. It looked like a woman that was caught on camera that from 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 the commentary it appears that that individual was not part of their group so that was good that was good that man that, that's that's the kind of stuff that just kind of gets you going get, you know makes the hair stand on your arm and it just you know the goosebumps and you just get that shot of adrenaline all right let's see generally old places still with a high historical level it is enough to look at her thumbnails to notice that there was no effort to present paranormal things so far in none of her videos has anything paranormal been seen she tells us that she has gone through all kinds of venues without encountering anything out of the ordinary or at least she believes so until a subscriber pointed out an inexplicable occurrence in one of her videos, a situation that she recorded completely by accident. In the image, you can see her making an introduction to what would be her next exploration, also the exact moment when the camera captures what for her, and incredible as it may sound, is a fairy. Pay attention. <laughs> Él lo que esto lo voy a ver contigo, contigo, contigo. Os voy a enseñar el que es esto, porque acabamos de entrar. Él lo que esto lo voy a ver contigo, contigo, contigo. Our reactions are really slow. Did you see there was like a little like What do you think? Insect. Does it resemble a fairy? Right there, right there, right there. Micah affirms that at first she saw it only as a simple moth attracted to the light. However, looking at this clip repeatedly, it seems to vanish in fractions of seconds, especially look at, look at when played that. in slow at, motion. Look at that, look at that. It looks like a giant moth or butterfly that inches. It disappears behind it. Insects don't look like a What moth can do something like that? Also, at times it seems that its legs are sticking out from the bottom. Is what the camera caught really a fairy? True or not, it cannot be denied that the recording is quite strange. Wow! What is your opinion? Wow! Wow, that was like, wow. And you notice that that insect or moth, it was really, like it was quite clear in the frame. And as it's coming close to her, you know, it almost looked like it was just kind of going through her hand or something or it went around it. And then as it started to go behind her, it just started to get smaller and smaller and smaller and just kind of disappear. I mean, that's not typical of any kind of an insect. A haunting dark figure that you didn't notice at the time, but that the camera manages to clearly record. A being that seems to be stalking him from the bathtub. Just two nights after this footage, and when things seem to have calmed down, Nick leaves his cell phone recording inside one of the rooms. This was what the device captured.
Right, this is that same guy. Okay. This is the same guy, the same dude. So I'm just gonna have to unplug. The one with with the Shit. rapid is knocking it? on his door. That's six percent. Focus, bitch. But uh, well, I got done with my paperwork. I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette. Well, I was hearing weird noises out front, so I had to go check it. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not gonna tell what it was. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's probably an animal or something. Hmm. Pretty scary. Um, these shadow figures are just popping up everywhere, man, and uh, people's videos and stuff. But why was this guy taking a video? There was something clearly that I missed, and I'm sorry, there was two different videos there. I, I Maybe they're together, I'm not sure, but something clearly is bugging this guy to the point where, or bothering him to the point where he has to videotape it. And um, that was pretty freaky, you saw that. And then in the previous video, you heard the rapid knocking, and, and that's uh, The phone scary. is simply amazing. A footage that should not exist on the internet since it came into my possession directly from the daughter of the person who recorded it. Her name is Abigail, a regular subscriber who in her email tells us about a strange apparition that occurred in the vicinity of a parking lot. It was precisely at her father's job that a colleague of his who works as a security guard recorded with other colleagues the exact moment in which a strange entity seems to materialize. Pay attention to the following sequence. Notice how it appears and disappears in contrast to the vehicle's lights. The astonishment of the guard. All right, guys. Uh, that was a good lineup of some pretty creepy, scary videos. Enough to give me goosebumps again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that that was uh, that that was quite interesting. I mean, it just you know some of the stuff that's just out there. It's just so puzzling. Like I, I mean, even and even if it was fake, like even if some of these videos happen to be fake, I'm 
I'm assuming obviously there's a percentage of videos out there that people are just very creative in the way they craft these videos to make it look like they're real. But I mean, there's a lot of effort that goes behind it to make it look very real. Now, I'm naive. If you ask me, all of these videos look real. I mean, except for the one where with the band, I mean, it looks like there was somebody just kind of poking their head out, you know, outside of a TV, you know, behind the TV there. But I mean, still, there's that element of doubt. There's that element like, what if, right? Wow, that was, uh, that was good. So guys, uh, that's the end of our video. Um, I want to thank you guys. If you guys have, you know, reached this point, uh, give yourself a pat on the back. I mean, that was, uh, that was some pretty freaky stuff. Uh, so if you guys like uh, and hear our content, please like and subscribe and, and definitely comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. I try to, I try to respond to, to everybody that puts a comment. And, uh, and look, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And I can't wait to join you guys on the next adventure. So in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode. And please, please, until next time, don't do anything that could be harmful to yourself. Stay safe. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.